If you live in a leasehold property like a flat or something like that, then you might find this interesting. <laughs> How do everybody welcome back to the channel for a Thursday? Hope you're doing all right. Well, I saw a story that, uh, earlier on that kind of rang some familiarity with me because I, I was once in that position myself many years ago. And it's all to do with leasehold properties. Basically, you're obviously aware that if you own a leasehold like a flat or something, you don't actually own the land the flat is on that belongs to somebody else and you rent your space on that land for anything up to and including somewhere around 100 years on the lease. The consequence of that is there's usually a property management company involved in this that is paid an annual maintenance fee to maintain the interior corridors, repair anything outside the building, you know, so on and so on and so on, maintain the grounds, ground rent and other bits and pieces and inevitably these property management companies are no good whatsoever years ago i lived in a one bedroom flat which uh, formed a block with three other flats and the property management company there did absolutely nothing we never saw them they never came and maintained the grounds they never did any maintenance on internal hallways and so on and so on and so on and so on and the situation escalated to the point where we all did that basically well have a look at this yes this was a person in the paper complaining that the management company where they live keeps putting the service charge up by 10 percent every year and do nothing in return apparently one time they even took a whole year to fix one of the lifts in the building which in itself is not good so you have to wonder is it money for old rope what are they actually doing and more importantly if you're in that position what do you do about it well you're not stuck that's the first myth to get out of your head you take them to a tribunal and you say you want to appoint a new management company because they're useless. Unfortunately, you might end up getting another useless management company in their place. There is ultimately something called the Right to Manage Act, where a percentage of the people within the block your home forms a part of form their own property management company, right to the existing one giving them notice and say we don't want you to manage us anymore because you're crap we're going to do it ourselves inevitably this could end up with court action or litigation but more often than not you end up managing your own block your own affairs and your own money it's it's as simple as that and then you can take care of the maintenance of the place yourself the actual building where i lived we all refused to pay the management company in the end and they were getting quite shirty and after I left, I found out that the residents that were there, including the one in my old flat, all pulled together, formed a property management company and gave the old one their marching orders. And it worked quite happily. There was a little bit of court action involved, but all sorted. So it's not uh, actually hopeless and it can be sorted out. Anyway, this is Gabby Cabby signing off to Lou.